All right, hey guys, welcome in today. Got a classic shoe for you guys to draw today. It is, there's my little tease. It is the Converse Chuck Taylor All-Stars. Um, a lot of history with these. I'll probably talk about that kind of throughout um, the process of drawing this. But I got this shoe has been around for a long time of almost 100 years now um, and super super iconic shoe so we're gonna go um, with the high top today the classic version. generally is an L usually I start with that L and I kind of change it a little bit but this one literally is kind of an L almost exactly um, kind of flat on there so flat back flat bottom that kind of stretches all the way out and then as we commonly do um, we kind of bring that toe having a little bit of a curve to it and then it goes up and sometimes it goes down but this one really does kind of go flat across so almost like a really really generic kind of shoe little curve on the toe and definitely have that angle going up towards the um like the tongue of it pretty basic shoe um really flat on the bottom of it and then kind of that rubber bottom with a cloth that will kind of distinct between the upper and the lower part of it high top version that i do have is kind of a cool unique version it was kind of like a limited edition one it's got kind of a brown but that's one of the few that i have in the high um i just kind of feel cool <laughs> when i wear any form of chuck taylor's whether it's the lows or the highs um, but definitely you can see that kind of flat back and flat bottom in there um, from there we're gonna get that kind of sole on the bottom so like I said it's flat on here but I'm gonna bring another line across over here and then just like on the corner here it kind of rotates and shifts up it shifts up on the front also and that's where that kind of toe box will be uh, you can kind of clean that bottom part up almost like a really, really long stretched out rectangle. And when you get up here, that also can kind of round on here if you want to give that a little bit of a shape on that front part. It's starting to look pretty cool now. Um, probably one of the most recognizable pieces or parts of the Chuck Taylor, if I get my little one here <laughs> from my son, is kind of that toe part of it. So it's, like I said, we just kind of did that part of it, but then that kind of it's almost like a triangle, I guess I would kind of design it as a triangle in the front there. So I'll kind of do a little curve on there and then put my line maybe about there. And that pretty much connects with here. You can stop it a little bit before because there's a little bit of a line that you can see. It goes all the way down, and kind of follows that seam and that'll run right into there so then from this toe box little part it actually kind of dips down um, because this part is kind of rubber and then this part is cloth so I'm gonna kind of go down and then back up to kind of follow that pattern and meet up with that we can kind of connect that a little bit but it does have a little bit of a bump to it just to tell that that's cloth and that's rubber and then this part connects with a line here and that's almost like a triangle kind of shape right there, like a point. And then this follows all the way up. And we'll run straight up to the top. Falls on there. It's pretty nice. Awesome. I'm gonna make that a little darker so you can see. We definitely got to get the little circle over here for the Chuck Taylor logo. So do a little circle in here. Bit of a frame. It kind of has like a stitched kind of frame, so I'm just going to give it a little dotted line around that, and then definitely has two little circles on the inside here. We'll go over those a little bit darker once we do some of those details. Maybe that's the ventilation on there. Um, like I said, Chuck Taylors um, were introduced kind of in about 1920. Um, it was cool because it was actually a salesman um, that didn't invent them, but really kind of made them popular. And his name was Charles or Chuck Taylor. That's why he got it. his um, signature kind of added to there, if you can see, 
on there in the truck tailor. That's why they are called truck tailors um, after him. So a lot of cool history in that. Um, and then really for the next almost 50 years, um, everybody wore those um, for sports or athletics, especially basketball, um, which is why I like them so much. Um, the back... Um, Actually, let's go up to the tongue. Uh, the tongue kind of has a design that goes almost right from this little corner and goes up and then down. Maybe add a little curve on there and that follows right down through there. Makes it look a little bit more realistic. This back part, I guess will kind of bump out a little bit. This part is pretty flat, but then bumps out and then that backside also bump so it just gives it a little bit of shape um i can erase a little of the, those little details on there um a couple little th things on the bottom that also kind of set it off as a chuck taylor it has kind of a separation of the sole right here into almost like a box or kind of a square part that goes up to a rectangle up here and that will be a little bit thicker give them that awesome traction that they have um, right there. Awesome. And then that line, that kind of trademark Chuck Taylor line that goes all the way across there. You can see how that other part kind of sticks out on there. And like I said, this part bumps up. Oh, I almost forgot on the back of all the Chuck Taylors. Um, they say Converse All-Star on most of them on the back. So that, that little tab, I guess, yeah. will be on the side of it. So we can just add that. Almost like it just sticks out on here. It's like a little, yeah, another little rectangle on there. And then right in the middle is where that line connects to the middle on there. And it's a little bit thicker on there. But I think we got most of our overall shape. I'm gonna start going over this in Sharpie, adding some details on there. Um, I will go through and do the Chuck Taylor um, Converse on there. Um, but you can see it just says Converse on the top with a star and then all start underneath with some fancy cursive writing on there. But that's again where you can see kind of that dotted line around there and then a circle on there. So I'll go through all those details. I do got a little skinny Sharpie today. Um, I think for some of those little details, I think this one will help. Um, a pen also works good if you got a little black pen or a color pen, I guess, if you're gonna make this a color. Um, that's one of the fun things about this shoe too is there's so many different colors and varieties and high tops and low tops. Kind of got the matching the big box here is my um big ones but he's got kind of the low tops one um and then i have these high top kind of like i said limited edition this one has a pull tab um which definitely makes it a little bit easier to to put on um but still have a lot of that classic kind of design um i love the bottoms with a little diamond pattern on there too so um let's get into some of this detail and going over in sharpie so we're gonna go through that real quick All right, so there it is, the ever famous popular Chuck Taylor, the classic shoe um, that, like I said, was one of my favorites and just feel a little bit cooler when I wear those. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's Art Channel, and we'll talk to you guys later.